Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to Pattern Emporium Sneak Peek Week. This is our first uh, pattern release for 2020 and it is huge. We have a double release for you. So we have a ladies passion and a girls passion. The ladies pattern is a combo uh, dress and skirt. Um, and the girls pattern is a combo wrap skirt and flounce skirt. So tonight I'm going to show you the ladies version. So the dress and um, the skirt. And then from tomorrow you will also see um, the little girls version, which is so adorable. Let's get started. One of the things that always bugs me about buying wrap dresses and skirts is coverage. I'm either showing my knickers or I'm flashing my bra or I'm doing both. And it's just not practical for me. I'm a very busy, active person and it just doesn't work for me. So I've created a design, a design that has excellent coverage along the front. So if this blows up in the wind, as it can on a windy day and it's an A-line silhouette, um, you're not going to flash your knickers. And the top is totally covered. There are a couple of different necklines. There's a low scoot, sexy one, and there's a higher neckline depending on the bodice that you pick. Um, but you have complete coverage. And the fit at the back is so beautiful. Um, you are just gonna love it. Uh, the girls that made it didn't even need um, a sway back adjustment that they do need for um, other designs like the Spellbound, for instance. This pattern is designed for stretch knit fabrics and it has both a skirt and a dress. It features an A-line silhouette and a wrap front. And you can either add a flounce or keep it plain. You can add a waistband, obviously making a skirt, or you can add a bodice and make it a dress. Now the bodice comes in sleeveless, as you see here. Um, you can do short sleeve, cap sleeve, long sleeve, or flounce sleeve, and it mixes and mashes with so many of our patterns. Um, so you could add a bishop sleeve or a puff sleeve or a tight sleeve. Um, on the website, you will see a list of the patterns that you can mash it with. There is a lot. It's, it's a fitted design. You have, let me show you the waist. So you have a seam at the front at the waist. You have a centre back seam and then you have a waistline seam. So it's all designed to give you shape and curves. Let's talk about lengths. Um, there are four different lengths in the pattern. Now this time, instead of basing the lengths on height, I've just given four lengths and the finished measurements, and you can choose for yourself which one fits the fabric that you're making, the style that you want to make, and your personal measurements. So there is a mini, which is quite short. I'll show you, I've got a gorgeous dress in it. Um, there is a mid, so it's kind of mid thigh. Um, there is above the knee, and then there is a below the knee. So this one is the below the knee. So on me, it is below the knee. So based on an average like 5'5", five five, it's going to sit around about the knee. Um, uh, sorry, below the knee. And you can see from the silhouette here, there is a slight high-low effect that I've created to give that really elegant swoosh. It is designed for stretch knit fabrics. Um, and the, the multitude of fabrics that you can use for it is massive from a Liverpool, which doesn't have a huge amount of drape but it still has a beautiful drape um, for a dress like this or a viscose a cotton lycra um, all sorts of jerseys i've made one in a sweater knit i've used poly knit so let's go through um, the different designs that i've made in the dress and then the skirt and you can choose your favorite so this one here is as i said it's the sleeveless it is the mid neckline um, it's made in uh, a liverpool which has it has body and drape at the same time. It's kind of one of those middle of the road ones, um, but it does, it does maintain a little bit of structure, which I absolutely love. Um, I've chosen to put the flounce and as I said, the below the knee. And by adding a blousy top over your dress, you now have a two piece, a skirt and a top. And then for a little bit of warmth, you can either add uh, the songbird or the snuggly my embrace next we have a fabric that you've probably seen before this is just a really simple poly jersey 
Um, it's kind of got a crepe texture, but it has this gorgeous drape, but a really casual feel about it. Um, again, it's the sleeveless. It is the mid neckline, so the higher neckline on the sleeveless bodice. Uh, waistline seam, it has the beautiful flounce. And this one is the knee length, so it's a little bit um, shorter than um, the below the knee length. And that awesome wrap coverage again. Really simple with a pair of heels. Or dress down with some boots. Or go casual with some sneakers. This one is the sleeve bodice. So this is a little cap sleeve and the higher neckline of the two on the sleeve bodice. Um, again, we have the flounce skirt and this is the knee length again. So you'll find with a viscose jersey, a rayon jersey, that they will drop. They have that really soft, comfortable, just easy feel. Um, if you wanted to put a belt on to dress it up a little bit, to take you into more of an evening look, or you could add a feature boot or a belt to add a little bit of detail to your dress. So let's take the flounce into winter. This is the long sleeve. It is the higher of the neckline um, in the pattern. And again, it is um, the flounce version. And this one is the mid length. Now, as I said before with the black one, um, the viscose jersey, um, it tends to drop. Um, it doesn't hold its length as well as other fabrics. So this one has dropped a little bit, but not too much. So you can see the back is just slightly longer and you can see the seam detail. See how beautifully that fits at the back. And again, you've got excellent coverage and a gorgeous winter dress. This is the mini version with the flounce sleeve and the higher neckline. And I've made a little belt um, to just finish it off. So the mini length isn't too terrible. <laughs> it's not too short. Um, a couple of girls that are, are littler in the group, um, in the testing group, they've used the short and it does sit longer on them. Um, I'm not that tall, I'm only 5'4", uh, but you can see where it sits on me. And again, you've got the coverage with the flounce and these gorgeous, aren't they awesome? <laughs> these gorgeous sleeves. Now this is just... It's just a poly jersey, really lovely drape, super, super easy to sew. Um, decent amount of stretch and just, yeah, really pretty, really easy, really summery spring. So for those of you that aren't flounce girls or want something just plain and simple, whether it's for work or going out, this one is the plain option. And again, it has that beautiful coverage. It has the beautiful fit through the bodice and the waistline. Um, this is a scuba, a, a crepe scuba, so it's textured and slightly lofty. If you wanted to add a feature belt, you can, to highlight the waistline. There we go. And again, it's just lovely and simple and you can see the slight, it's a very slight high-low, beautifully professional and really fast to sew, easy to wear. Our next plain one is um, from Boo Fabric. So um, a gorgeous swimwear spandex, it's one of my favorite prints. Um, it is the lowest neckline in the sleeveless bodice. And you can see the beautiful fit around the body. Um, again, it has the plain wrap with lots of coverage. Um, and yeah, the lowest neckline and the sleeveless bodice. Okay, our lucky last is a winter look in the knit dress. So this is the lowest scoop neck. So it sits quite low and it sits in quite close at the neckline. Um, this is a gorgeous rib sweater knit. So it's really, really warm and really comfortable, very stretchy. Very easy to match these along the centre front. Now, if you wanted to add a belt for a bit of definition, um, thin belts, wide belts, they all look fantastic. There we go. And you can see that gorgeous silhouette. Perfect work dress. 
Next up we have the skirt. So I'm going to go from shortest to longest, uh, one by one, and you can see how long they are. So this is the mini. You can see it's quite short. Now you can wear this wherever you want. You can wear it right up on the waist, or you can pull it down a little bit to the hips, and whatever you like. And you really can use a variety of stretches. You really don't have to worry too much about how much stretch it has. They all work depending on like what you want to do, um, how you want it to look, how much drape you want or non-drape that you want. And I'll show you a variety as we go along. Now this is a very, very soft um, swimwear knit. Like it's super, super soft, super stretchy in both directions. Um, really comfortable to wear. Now I've got it here with the Going Places dress packed into a top. Very cute. Next up is the mid-length. So this is a scuba. Um, so again, really soft and it's got a little bit of drape but not too much drape because it has so much body to it. So it kind of does hold its structure. Like you can see around here and this gorgeous flounce on the hemline. And you can see that beautiful silhouette. I'm not flashing anybody. Um, again, worn with the Going Places um, dress, hacked into the top. Now you can wear it in or out. It really is totally up to you. It has a narrow, really soft, um, stretch knit waistband, like a yoga waistband, but half the size. But if you wanted to add the waistband of your choice, um, you can totally do that too. Next up, we have some viscose jersey. Now you can see the difference in the drape here. You can see how soft and stretchy and just easy and comfortable to wear, especially in the heat. Um, and I've just paired it here with um, the True Romance um, Bishop Sleeve top and I've hacked it into a sleeveless. Just really easy, simple, all with the Golden Places um, dress. Again, hacked into a top. Um, this is just a spandex. And this is the mid length. Um, like I said with the dress, the uh, viscose are all rayon, they do tend to drop, so this one does look um, a little bit longer. But really lovely and cool fabric to wear in the summer with the Make It Happen High Low for a gorgeous summer look or a simple fit of teeth for an at home look. Now, if you tend to get more wear out of skirts and dresses, you can always do the fake dress look with the flounce skirt. Um, so this is the mid length. And then I've just teamed it here with the cat sleeve uh, Keep It Simple t-shirt. So much looser than a dress. Plus, really simple to dress it up for winter. So this is uh, the long sleeve with the cuff and the turtleneck in the Keep It Simple pattern. Um, just again, really lovely, really easy. And it looks stunning with the Exhale High Low um, and I've just popped a cow neck on it. So really, really lovely and comfortable look. Next up is a little bit of glamour. This is a blue spandex. <laughs> I can't stop twirling. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? And again, you have that awesome coverage. Um, now, as far as your wrap goes, you might have noticed that this wrap is on the other side. It really doesn't matter which way you want to wrap, totally up to your personal preference. Um, this is the knee length. Now this is the plain um, version, so there's no flounce um, that you saw in the knit dresses. Uh, in the mid length, this is um, a quite a rigid um, scuba knit. Um, it's not very stretchy at all, so you can see that it works. Um, when, when something is not that stretchy. Really cute, just plain. So you can kind of jazz it up with a great fabric or make it in a plain. Again, it's up to you. Team it back with something casual, little pair of sandals, and it's just quick and easy. Um, I spent more time cutting out these pieces than I did sewing them together. They are so fast to put together. Um, I think I made in Friday to Tuesday, I made eight dresses and six skirts. This is all in the knits. Um, they're so quick and so addictive. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video and um, I'll see you in the group.